Hello there. Once again, this is Anton from Anton Will Bay coming at you with more stuff I got from the Mammoth comic book haul. Uh, I, I bought out a, uh, the old inventory of a comic book store, 45 long boxes. Let's see what we got. Uh, first, I, I've already done a video of just of some of the doubles that I have. And I, you know, some of it's crazy, some of it's good, some of it's, you know, it's a bunch of issues of some Valiant comic that I don't like at all. But some of these duplicates have just been amazing. Um, case in point, uh, this is Venom, Lethal Protector, 1 through 6. The entire miniseries, packed in a sleeve. And here's another one, packed in a sleeve. The entire miniseries, pristine shape, never circulated. And here's another one. And another one. And then, just to throw on top of that, there's a bunch of issues of just the first issue of Venom Lethal Protector. So that is so cool. It, there's just so much of it. And, you know, to get one miniseries of those is pretty awesome. To get four solid miniseries of those, is just staggering. So, needless to say, I've got, I already had this mini series, so uh, I have these up for sale. So, don't exactly need that many. And then, if you're, if you're like a big fan of the Max, you would know that uh, Darker Image number one, first appearance of the Max, this is a book that I kind of always wanted. And so, for me to get a whole bunch of them. Like a bunch of them. I just keep finding them in different spots and different boxes. And very excited by that. First appearance of the Max. How could it how could you beat that for you know just finding them in a random box? That many of them. And considering what I paid for these boxes was not that much. Uh I'm very impressed with that. So to have like six or eight. How many is this actually? I gotta count them now. Uh, there's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Um, and I, I, I bet you I haven't found them all. There's so many boxes of just odd image stuff. But mixed in all the image stuff, I find some crazy stuff like 8-Ball. Like, I have never seen an issue of 8-Ball anywhere. Let alone, like, held one. So, yeah, 8-Ball. Uh, number 12, Daniel Klaus. I'm a big fan of Ghost World. I loved his uh, Ghost World and his, oh, what was his other? Caricature was one of his uh, uh, trade paperbacks that I got, just of all of his stuff. Really weird, ribald, odd, disturbing comics, but uh, Ghost World was my favorite from the thing. Of course, I found it from the movie and I followed the movie backwards into the comics and was still very impressed and very excited by it, so. I got those. Excited about that. Um, another just strange stuff. Lady Death number two. Um, Lady Death number one. If I remember right. These are kind of hard to come by now. This is Lady Death before she's dead. So those are those are kind of like odder issues to find. Um, of course, I have Lady Death post dead when she is dead. And there's a exciting cover for you. Um, Lady Death number one, April 2001. Just, you know, I don't have very many Lady Death comics, so here's Chaos Comics Quarterly. Uh, that's a fantastic Lady Death cover. And here's Chaos Comics Quarterly, again. I think it's just one issue, but it, man, it's thick. So anyway, I was super impressed to find those and have those, because I don't have hardly any of her stuff. Um, I always take... I, I, I do love Liefeld's, some of his work. And when it comes to Glory and Angela, and who is the other one? The uh, the Warrior Nun. Uh, I can't remember. Ariella or whatever her name is. But anyway, I, I, I do love those books. So to get, uh, to get a few of his like that, there's quite a few in this pile. I was pretty excited by that. Um, I never read much Astro City at all. I just remember being completely intrigued by the covers. 
Because um, if these covers don't just sell you the book, I don't know what does. Those are absolutely gorgeous covers. Avengelin, that was the name of uh, the warrior nun. Warrior nun Avengelin. Uh, so there's Avengeline Prophet. Liefeld stuff. Not all of it was bad. Some of it I really did love. Uh, Zealot from the Wildcats. Actually, with this comic haul, with all the image stuff, I have a massive run of Wildcats, and I'm very excited about that because uh, it was a book I always was interested in but never got much of back in the day. Um, Stranger in Par uh, Strangers in Paradise, number five. I have done one video in the past about Strangers in Paradise, just how many issues I have come across. I absolutely love the artwork. The dude does amazing, amazing artwork. Just the way he draws women. And, you know, I can't can't be unexcited about those. So there's Strangers in Paradise. These are from Abstract Studios. There's a bunch that they reprinted or did later from Image. But Abstract is the original, the original manufacturer or the original publisher. So, yeah, I just love this guy's art. For obvious reasons just look at how playful and fun it is ah and the tenth this is another comic that is kind of like in that mcfarlane-esque type uh let, let's draw like todd basically but i still really like it and i've got a bunch of it and so just to see another issue of it i'll always take that uh, when I was looking through comics immediately, I had already pulled these out and was checking them out um, when I first did my video of finding these because uh, it's Tomb Raider. Obviously, I'm a Tomb Raider fan. Who doesn't love Tomb Raider? My wife loves Tomb Raider. Uh, Witchblade, number two. Um, I will eventually get a massive run of Witchblade accumulated because there's just so many uh, piles in this, in this collection that I know I'm going to get more and more Witchblade. So which blade number four, five. Looks like a hollow foil cover of Evangeline Glory. And then I have this one already. In fact, I have already ripped on this one before because even though I love Rob Liefeld, there's so much glare going on with this issue. It's so reflective. There's a lot of problems. There's anatomical problems here. This is a mistake. This is a mistake, man. Rob, I don't know what you were thinking, but Glory looks better than, than Evangeline, but still. You get the idea. There's some problems with this. That's so shiny. Um, and then there's a guy who can draw women. Um, oh, what is the dude's name who draws these? It's Cry for Dawn or Dawn or whatever you want to call these. Um, yeah, I cannot remember the artist. But he's like a fantasy artist does all these covers for Don and they're just amazing just what he does I mean you could put his work right up there with like Louis Royo or um, oh, that one couple shit I can't remember all my fantasy artist name right off the top of my head but I was glad to see these because I have like one or two issues and I don't so much care to read them as I'm just intrigued by the art the premise of some of the stories you know just just have them because they're so odd there's not a lot of comics like them and yeah so i'm excited to get them cry for dawn that's great looks like we got cry for dawn volume five Crypt of Dawn, Volume 3. Haven't heard of that one yet. Um, Dawn, 4 of 6. I have this action figure. And it is fantastic. And I am glad to finally see exactly where it comes from. She's posed fairly similarly to this. So I'm looking forward to reading this one. Just because I've had this figure like forever. And it's one of the creepier, racier type you know figures because of this whole transparent piece here but um it's glad to finally see the, bu the the book where that came from so 
Very happy to see that. And what was stuck to the back there? Ooh, Ultra Girl number three. Huh. Well, that's a weird note to end on because that's the last of my pile. Never heard of Ultra Girl. No idea. It's apparently a Marvel comic. I would have expected it to be somebody else. But anyway, um, yeah, that's an odd book to end on. That's what. That's the last comic. I guess it was just stuck to the back of one of the others. But yep, that's that's my haul for right now. I'm gonna leave it on the Dons because this is kind of weird. But um, yep, just me going through more of the stuff. I intend to keep going through it. I love seeing what's in here. Um, I thank you guys for watching. I thank the I thank Butch for selling me these. This was just a great haul, and it continues to be an amazing experience going through more and more of these. And that's my story. And I will catch you guys later. Bye.